so uh, hello everyone uh, myself uh, Shudipto uh, so today I will be showing you a solve um, of uh, the STM32 blow, blow pill device or any other STM32 based device that uh, in uh, cube ID <clears throat> you could see uh, when, when you when you want to upload the code uh, there is something error like uh, ST-Link couldn't verify the ST device about connection so today I will show you uh, the uh, solve or the method of solve uh, of this problem so uh, here you could see uh, I have uh, used uh, uh, STM32 based device and this is uh, known as the blue pill uh, to be very exact the model is STM32F uh, 103 C8 uh, T6 uh, so um, uh, first let me uh, tell you something um, just uh, uh, don't uh, skip this part so uh, first of all uh, if you have a virgin board or like a board without any bootloader uh, then uh, you have to use uh, uh, a, a tool like this one this is known as st link uh, debugger prop and this is the version 2 of the debugger prop and you need to connect this debugger prop uh, to the main board and the uh, board connection is very simple and internet you could see the board connection and uh, you cannot use uh, the uh, like the usb connection uh, if you uh, have a burn bootloader on it you could use the usb connection to program the board but uh, in most cases uh, that would work because uh, the st board uh, doesn't have a pre-built bootloader on to it so you have to use uh, the stling version 2 okay uh, so after stling version 2 and uh, we with these types of error uh, you have to first of all uh, uh, go to your uh, uh, main pin con configuration and i am using uh, the uh, stm32 cube id so here in the, that case uh, just uh, go to your uh, uh, project and uh, the port selection or or the pin selection uh, diagram and uh, i will not discuss more on this section because i have already covered this part and how we could create a simple project uh, using uh, uh, stm32 cube id and others in another video so first uh, check that one okay uh, so first of all you can see i have uh, um, i have uh, like uh, initialize the pc13 pin and uh, after initializing the pc13 pin as you all know in a pc13 pin there is an onboard led into it and uh, the led is uh, shown here and uh, after uh, uh, setting this pin as output uh, just uh, burn uh, like just generate the code and uh, here you can see mm, this is my code this is my code and uh, in this code uh, just in uh, like loop section just uh, let me uh, in while section and uh, just let me a simple code here okay so here you can see uh, i have just write the code down and just i'm pasting the code here uh, okay so here you can see uh, i have uh, sorry this is not the user section just let me correct it correct it so the user code section is here uh, so just in after while section just let me uh, upload the code on it and uh, just uh, click on save and uh, just let me click on play and here you can see uh, after the play play button or the build section here you can see uh, abroad connection and sling device uh, not found okay so fail to connect the sling debugger server okay so this is our main problem and uh, in that case uh, just um, uh, let me show you the solve uh, after uh, like uh, burning the code or after like generating the code just uh, click on build and uh, here you can see the program has already been built without any error so uh, after uh, this code has been built uh, just uh, go to the main uh, directory uh, of this folder so here you can see this is my project and uh, let me show it in system explorer and uh, I'm, I'm currently using mac uh, you could use uh, any other operating system and this will work on windows 2 so okay just let me go to the uh, project and uh, let me go to the debug and after that you will uh, see a file name as .elf uh, just uh, select it and uh, copy it and like uh, paste it uh, whenever uh, whenever you want i'm pasting in an untitled folder okay so uh, after um, uh, getting the uh, binary file or the binary file of this program of blinking sketch uh, sketch uh, so let me uh, open another program and the program is known as stm32 cube programmer so basically um, i am using this software uh, because this software doesn't check uh, whether uh, my ST board is uh, faulty or not. So uh, in, in in this portion, let me um, uh, let me uh, uh, tell you uh, why this problem occurs. Uh, so in my finding or understanding, uh, this problem occurs because uh, the vendor or the supplier is not supplying you the uh, original board. Uh, so here you can see I have another board and this is another uh, blue blue pill of same version, but this board works really fine and uh, with uh, cube id and uh, this board uh, works uh, without any problem without any hassle uh, no stling device not found uh, message shown and uh, but i have uh, this board and uh, some types of another board like um, this is uh, 
another STM32 based board and this board also shows uh, you shows me the same error and I have another board um, this is known as the blackboard and STM32 F407 board and this board also show me uh, the same error uh, I, I in, in my understanding or in my finding this is because uh, your board is not genuine or or uh, some types of errors uh, like the vendor uh, is not uh, 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 supplying the right parts uh, or this is a clone board so okay so uh, after uh, uh, downloading and uh, opening uh, this uh, this software known as stm32 cube programmer this software actually doesn't check for uh, the device whether uh, the device is uh, like uh, original or not so okay after uh, this software being opened uh, just uh, select the st link uh, because we are using this link debugger and just click on refresh so after clicking on refresh you could see all, all all this information will be shown here so this is all the information of this board and just click on connect so you can see the device is connected and you would see uh, the information of this device is shown here so uh, this will connect any in any types of board in your uh, in your computer and you could find uh, the device model and all types of information so actually uh, in this uh, device memory section you can see uh, what program is written in the memory and this is the memory starting address and uh, this is the memory size uh, of this program currently uh, on the STM32 based board. So just let me uh, click on the uh, plus icon and just let me uh, open uh, the sketch or the ELF file that we have already sent. So here you can see in untitled folder we have uh, selected this file or generated this file uh, from uh, STM32 cube ID. So you could use STM32 cube ID, uh, KL, uh, ARM, MDK or uh, any other program. So here you can see the program has been uh, on and uh, let me show you another thing. My uh, board uh, is uh, not in uh, DAFU mode or my board is in normal mode because the boot zero pin is connected to the ground and uh, this is the normal mode of STM32 based board and in normal mode uh, just uh, here, here is the program and just click on the download. And the program uh, will uh, downloading in the uh, in in the uh, uh, ARM board. Here you can see uh, the file download complete. And uh, in my board, uh, you can see there is no uh, blinking LED or there is no uh, waveform in the oscilloscope. So just let me uh, click the reset button. Here here is the reset button. Just let me click reset, and here you can see that's it. Voila! And your program is running, and this is the corresponding uh, pulses of the code. So. Uh, I think uh, this video will be helpful uh, for you guys and uh, thank you for uh, uh, joining with me. Uh, so this is uh, Shudipto signing out.